to take the sunshine in while I can. It has been, I'm guessing, around two weeks since I've felt sun like this on my face. And let me tell you, it just, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's behind a tree. Let's move over here. I think I'll have better luck over here. I tell you what, I have never appreciated the sun as much as I have until I moved to the city, guys. The lady that had picked me up at the airstrip told me we needed to go over to the school here in Manakotic. Well, it turns out that the vice principal takes care of the housing for the teachers and doctors that come into town. And they thought that I was a doctor that was gonna be staying for a while. It turned out to be a misunderstanding, but I did get to see the inside of the school here, which was really nice. This is a dental air compressor. And on my last PM trip, I noticed I had a bad purge valve. So we're gonna replace this. This here is the cabling coming off of the coil of that solenoid valve. And it comes up into the bottom of this electrical box. This is the solenoid valve and cable assembly that we're gonna be installing. What I don't show you here is I had already turned off the power coming into the box, but if you're ever going into an electrical box, make sure that you turn the power off. And then once you get inside, put a meter on it and double check to make sure that there is in fact no power. So as you can see from this footage, it was a tight squeeze to be able to get into this area to do the work. And unfortunately, with it being so constrained, I was not able to get much footage. So I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of what I did here. So I had to disconnect both of the breakers that were mounted on the front panel. Then in order to access the area to install the cabling from the solenoid into the box, I had to take this contactor off so that I could gain access to that area. Once I got my wiring disconnected, I came back down and uninstalled the solenoid. 
Well, I wasn't using my brain cells and left the coil on. And had I removed the coil, the uninstall would have been much easier. But instead, I decided to make it harder than what it really should have been. Okay, I didn't make the same mistake twice here, so that's a good thing. I did take my coil off and it made life so much easier when it came to installing. Again, it was such tight space here that I just could not get the right footage to be able to show you exactly what I'm doing. But the cabling coming off the solenoid is what I'm pulling through this hole. And I'm gonna mount that up to the box and then connect my wiring back. closed up.
We're going home. <laughs>